Hi, my name is Melissa and welcome to Nerd Alert, where we talk about everything nerdy. So now that we've finished July, I thought I'd do a July wrap up, uh, which would consist of everything that I've read and watched. So let's just get started. So throughout July, what I, I've only read four books in total. Now I might not have seen them a lot, but I'm also adding webtoons as well. And also some of the books that I've read, well, one of the books that I've read is quite a chunky, a chunky boy. <laughs> so um, so the, I think I've read enough for myself, but I'm trying, I'm planning for August to read more. But anyway, so the first book of July that I read was Autobiography. Now I gave this a four star. Um, overall, the book, it was well written and it's quite it's very comedic in some aspects but some of the storyline and the character developments wasn't on par and some of the um on par of what i thought could have been better <laughs> and there were some scenes that weren't as realistic as it would have been if this had happened in real life so it's a bit touch and go and that's why i gave it four stars but it, overall it is a fan uh, it is a good read and very comedic as I like to tab the books. <laughs> Next book I read was Every Reason We Shouldn't. I gave this book four stars. Um, the reason behind this was it it lacked, the ending lacked a lot I thought. It was just, um, it just wasn't, wasn't this ending that you'd I'd, I'd expect to happen in this book but at the same time um, I've seen that she is making a sequel to this book. Um, I think that's what I've seen on Goodreads, whether or not that's right or not, I don't know. But um, the ending, like I said, wasn't a, wasn't satisfying, and if the ending just wasn't satisfying for me. But other than that, I loved the characters. I thought that Olivia and Jonah's romance was well written, and it was a progressing one, and it's not like an insta love, and that's what I really liked about that book. The next book I read was Spin the Dawn. The reason I gave it a five star, I really liked the story, um and also some character development and also the romance between Maya and Eden. I've already got the second book but I haven't read it yet as I'm reading something else but I can't wait to read it so that was on that one. The last book I read was The City of Brass. I gave this a five star as well. Um, normally I'm not the, a person to read adult fantasy books. I'm more of a YA, I always have been, um, but when Yuli actually recommended this book to me um, I fell in love instantly. Um, the only downfall I would say of this book was the beginning was absolutely it was so slow and put to like 200 pages in um but past that I, the characters are amazing the plot line is it's just there's so much information to take in um the stuff that is intense drama and everything and it's just it's such a good book I'm currently reading the second book and I've got that one and the last one to read um so hopefully I can finish those soon <laughs> Now, aside from the books, I've read some webtoons and all of the ones I've read are still ongoing, but I do recommend all of them because they're just, the artwork's amazing, the storyline behind them, like the creators make these storylines, it's just fantastic. And I do recommend these. So the first webtoon I've read was True Beauty. It's about a girl who doesn't like her appearance, so she uses makeup to help like make herself look better in the eyes of others. Um, I think even to make herself self like boost her confidence up. It's a romance and I also think it's a bit of a love triangle um, where I'm at at the moment but I won't say too much just for spoilers if you want to read it please go ahead I do recommend it. Next one is Let's Play. It's about a woman who is a game developer but she also suffers with a lot of anxiety. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> um, and it's her pushing through I think it's like self-loving and self-loving herself and getting past these anxieties to help herself um there's more to it um but that's what I perceive of this anyway but I did I'm caught up at the moment and I love it um I don't know how else I could put it with let's play but it's it's just it's good now the next one is Laura Olympus uh, it's set about Olympians and the gods and goddesses of Olymp Olympus um but set in a modern time the two main protagonists in this is Hades and Persephone and it's just a whirlwind of emotions with between those two and it's just it's the, it's such a bright and vivid like webtoon it's fantastic it it's just I can't wait to read more of it because stuff goes down <laughs> basically so that I also recommend I mean I recommend all of these the last webtoon I read was Midnight in Poppyland I think that is the actual title but if not I will put the title here um 
it's basically about a girl who stumbles like she comes into I'd say she doesn't come into but there's mafia involved and things like that and it's it's a and it's, they're all, all of them are romances anyway I mean pfft, I love my romance <laughs> but um it's all about that um about the main the main guy side more than the main lead the, the main female um it's around him more or less but we don't know much about his backstory just yet but again recommend it's just really good it's they're all honestly like all rec i rec recommend all of these to read um but yes <laughs> in terms of what i've watched in july i think i've only watched one or completed anyway one thing and that was angel's last mission love which me and yuli did a video of i'll link it up here um but i have watched snippets of other things but i haven't actually fully completed anything like any series or anything like that Hopefully I will watch stuff this month than I did last month. There's a lot of K-dramas on my list to watch and it's just, it keeps piling up because there's so many fantastic ones coming out. So hopefully I can get through them and hopefully watch some more anime because I'm lacking in anime at the moment. I'm way behind on a load of series. So let's see what August brings. <laughs> so that's my July wrap up. I hope you liked it. Um, let me know what you read or watched during July in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.